Hey there YouTube, Superbrain AK here, and the uh, charger station is uh, kind of uh, backed up here. I've got four cells there and uh, two in the charger. They're probably full. Nope, actually they're not. So I think it's time to build the charger. Now the discharger's mostly working, but of course uh, two bays can only get me uh, a quarter of my... Uh, speed. So, I'm going to be taking a look at these uh, LM2586s, which I have for the charger, which on the computer here you can see I got them from Alice. These are the LM2586HVS 60 volt, 3 amp, and yeah, 3 amps uh, not recommended. Not unless you coat this thing in thermal goo which I'll cover because today I'm going to be checking the efficiency of these um, I have seven of these $1.85, $1.90 each so very cheap so that combined with these guys is actually uh, not bad so while I've got that one on the tester let me test these two diodes the diode on the left is an S B340. It's a B340. Right there, we can see 3 amp, 100 amp peak, 40 volt, and 20 Celsius watt to junction, 90 to ambient. Not bad. And the other one, which is that tiny little guy, which is that right there, is actually an SS310, which is 100 volts, interestingly enough. Um, we can see 17 Celsius watts to ambient, or junction, and 55 to ambient. Huh. So, technically better, but as you can tell, uh, as I will show you right now, voltage is very different. And by voltage, I mean voltage drop. So, we'll check this SS310 or SB340 or B340. 0.161. Okay. How about the SS310? Wrong way around. It's like chopsticks. 0.323 volts. It's almost double the voltage. So, I've got one prepared without the change. And one prepared with the new diode in. So let's see if that's any better. And I better show you my setup. Just like BBI uh, shows his every time. Uh, this is a should be 58 volt power supply. I've got a 19 volts in series with my two 19 volts in there that are in series. So, and that's going to my 5005. You can see just the other 19 volt is on, and now we've got the full 58 volts. All right. So that's coming down onto here. Going through this meter in current. This meter is measuring the voltage on the input. And obviously the 2586 HV, which I'm going to be testing efficiencies at different voltages. Current voltage on the output right there. And going into my 20 watt 4 ohm dummy load. Okay. Okay, hopefully you can see the meters there. Let's see, bring the current up to, we'll go three amps. We've got seven volts on the output. 27 and a half on the input. Why is that 27? We'll bring it to standard 24. And, this isn't smoking, right? That's just dust. Okay. 
<laughs> now we don't have current because well there we go now two amp current is actually not the greatest or the current limiting on these is not the greatest um, but the voltage is uh, so let me get the voltage out. Oh, of course this is 8 volts now. Anyway, there we go. Let's calculate efficiency. Okay, so I am not going to do 2 amps because it was getting to 90 something C on the actual chip. Right now 1 amp it's at 75. Now the uh, diode is at actually 72, 70, but that is 65.8% uh, efficient. Let's bring the voltage up from 24 volts, should be able to get to 48. Forty-eight. Not bad. We've got a little different voltage. Four point oh one. Let me calculate this. Hmm. We have now dropped to sixty percent. Hmm. Um. Temperatures actually going up. Um. Maybe we do get more efficiency at uh, two amps. Sixty-five percent. Uh, I will say that's good for now and change it to the other chip. Let's see what happens. All right, as you can see, we now have sixty-eight percent on the new one with the other diode in. Let's bring that up to 48 volts. Forty-eight volts. Pause that there. And that is 64.57%. So we gained almost eight uh five percent each time. Um, and let's run it at 2 amps, let's see, I'm going to have to bring the voltage up, and I'll also show you the uh, current limiting on, uh, as its temperature rises, let's not short things out, that's scary, because there's 48 volts going through this, uh, Okay. There's two amps. We'll bring it up, bring the current down again. There we go. And you might be able to hear that uh, whining. Bring the voltage up, I believe. And the current. Up. Oh. Two amps. And you can see the current is actually uh, dropping back. Quite a bit, actually. Uh, we'll calculate that efficiency. We'll do a temperature text. Like seven OA inputs going uh, pretty high. So that chip is 110 degrees Celsius right now. High. Okay, so yeah, definitely not for uh, uh, two amps.
but it was definitely running a lot efficient, a lot more efficient than uh, the teeny tiny little diode that is 0.3 volts and the one that's four times the size yeah runs a lot better anyway thanks for watching and stay tuned for these other guys tested for efficiency and mucked about with and my charger being finished thanks for watching